Hey everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, I wanted to show you how to write a very simple uh, port scanning tool using the socket library from Python. Now, I really haven't done any uh, intro video to socket, so I'm assuming that you know a little bit of socket and how socket works with Python. I'll actually gonna do another one just to introduce to socket library. But this is one of the very important library that you need to do uh, any kind of network programming. Like you wanna connect to a server, you wanna connect to a client, you wanna you know do stuff, right? Scan for ports, things like a lot of things that you can do. And a standard way to import the socket library using using the import function. Now, before we do anything, in the last video I have shown you how to install the PyCharm in Kali Linux. This is a Kali box where I'm running this PyCharm. One thing I want to show you, this dark background is, is something I don't like, you may like it. I just want to show you how to change that. So I'm going to go to the setting and go to the appearance instead of the dark cooler. I'm going to pick up the IntelliJ. I like the light version. The another thing that I don't like is the default font. Uh, I'm going to go, go to the same place, setting, and look for the font. And I'm going to choose this font right there and then choose something else okay and i'm going to change this to maybe 16. let's see how that looks okay, that looks way better than the last one i like this one i think it should be good for the video as well so i'm going to keep to that one all right so what we have here what i have written here i'm going to give this code to you so don't worry too much about writing this code at the moment but what you have, you have a port scanner class that I have written. And to be honest, I got that idea from watching another video from another person who did. And this is really, uh, code is very similar. Okay? The, what we are doing is very simple and I have a much modified version of the code. But I want to uh, do the demo and see how you can use this code and uh, create your own port scanner. So the idea over here, we have created a class port scanner, and we have a we have the main function where we're gonna run and use this port scanner to do the port scanning, just like you do the in map. Okay. So here I have a few different uh, input functions. Right here, I'm asking the user, hey, give me the IP address that you need to scan. And in this code that I have, you can only scan one IP address at a time. And, but you can scan for multiple ports, okay? So here you're asking, okay, what's the starting port and what's your ending port? And then you're initializing this port scanner uh, class. So, so this is gonna be your object, scanner object. So port, can, port scanner, you're passing the IP address in there. Once you have that, uh, there's a method called scan inside this class. You're asking for that scan and you're saying, hey, port scanner, Go ahead and scan the IPs and you're providing the starting IPs that you got from the user and the ending IP that you got from the user. And then over here, I'm printing the scanner ports open. You really don't need that. So I'm going to uh, comment out that line of code. And I also have a little bit of code that is actually uh, write down what are the open ports that uh, this code actually finds. And if you look at the port scanner, the class is very simple. I have an initialization method that initializes one IP address, okay? And it creates one empty list. You see that here I'm not asking you to give me any list. It just creates an empty list. And then we have the scan IP method. Scan IP method just because I have a starting and an ending IP. So it's going to be a loop. And for port in range, we're going to pick up the starting IP says 50 and ending IP say it's... Uh, 100 the range function is uh, does not include the last value i mean uh, yeah so if it's 0 to 10 your range function will actually go from 0 to 9 uh, to solve the problems uh, i'm going to i'm going to add to the ending ip and over here when i when i'm scanning i want to print something to the mod the console so user knows okay which port is currently being scanned okay now over here once we are scanning if I see the port is open, I want to append that port to the list. Okay. Now it's nice to have a, another function which checks all that work. So I'm, I'm keeping this portion of the code really clean. 
so if you go to the is open so this is where the little bit of magic is happening here we are using the socket function i need to do that by default a socket uh, function the socket is the module that we have imported and that is the socket function this is creating a new socket and it creates a socket with ipv6 and a, and a tcp port okay uh, then what you are going to do you're going to ace.connect and we're going to using a little bit of a different method which is a ex very similar to the ace.connect method as well so over here and what you're providing you're going to provide the ip address and which port you want to check and the connection with that method will go and if the connection is successful it actually returns zero and if it's not successful it will return something but zero then you close the connection now if the exit code is zero you're returning true that means yeah the port is open if it's not zero it is going to return false right so actually we have uh, not returned turning i think but that's okay okay or you can put if you want to specifically put else return false okay you can also do that so this is very clear what this is doing so when if the port if the exit code is zero it's then only it's gonna say that okay the port is open otherwise it's gonna say the port is false okay and the write function you you, you you know if you have dealt with the uh, writing files with python you know what that does so that's about it so let's see how the the code works okay what i'll do uh let's see i'm gonna go and uh, get rid of all the junk that i have here and let's see what do i need to do I'll make sure the code is running fine and uh, uh let's see so over here what we'll do uh we are uh and when we are running uh writing the port let's just add a new line character just in case uh string port plus slash in okay all right so let's run the code if we run the code what is going on? it's asking for ip address now i have created a metas portable linux in, in, uh, instance which is a vulnerable linux machine and right now it is running at 192.168.1.106 that ip address hit enter what is the lower end of the port you need to scan let's start with one and upper end let's go to 10,000. okay so and hit enter and look at that so it's printing so it's printed everything so all it started at uh, zero or one whatever we said and went up to 10,000 and it told me these are all the ports that are open okay and if you want you can change rerun the code and and say okay uh, change the upper port to say 50,000 or 65, 5, 35 you want to check the whole range and it's going to give you all the all the ports that are open okay so now we should have this program should have shared, saved all the ports in our file too which is the open ports like uh, this file open ports of txt that we have said so if we go in there look at that so you have all the ports uh, that are open in the public ip in that metas portable that are saved in here now you can there are many ways to improve the code this is just the beginning of your journey so what I'll do, uh, I'll give a link to the code to my GitHub repository. You can use it and play with it, modify it, make the code better. And if you have a better version, uh, leave a comment in my, my video and just share it with us. Just see what we can do with this little bit of power that we have just gained uh, with the board scanner using Python sockets. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.